There were no major accords and no declarations signed. Yet this summit of all but one of the leaders of the Western Hemisphere will be remembered as extraordinary for something entirely different. The good thing about this meeting was the frank dialogue, the chance to get to know each other better, and the possibility to rebuild the lost trust among us and the government of the United States. At the last summit of the Americas, George Bush was greeted by violent demonstrations and chastised even by his host. But what a difference four years and a new U.S. president makes, especially one whose promise of a new beginning between Washington and its southern neighbors is perceived as sincere. We showed that there are no senior or junior partners in the Americas. That we're simply partners committed to advancing a common agenda and overcoming common challenges. Even Washington's staunchest ideological foe, Venezuela's Hugo Chavez, told Obama, I want to be your friend, and said he would reinstate his ambassador to the U.S., whom he'd withdrawn last year. <laughs> Nicaragua's Daniel Ortega and Bolivia's Evo Morales, too, expressed confidence that a new page could be turned in relations with Washington. Just like they had to abort the final summit photo because they couldn't all come together, regional leaders couldn't agree on a final declaration. No se abordaba suficientemente. Because it did not sufficiently address the world economic crisis and, of course, the differences over Cuba. Despite pleas that Washington end its 47-year embargo on Cuba, the only nation excluded from the Organization of American States, Obama insisted such a shift would depend on concessions from Havana, such as releasing political prisoners. There are going to be some ways that uh, the Cuban government, I think, can send some signals that they're serious about pursuing change. Nevertheless, the summit was seen as a good start to a new regional relationship. Of course, as both Obama and Chavez recognized, handshakes and smiles aren't enough. The promise to establish a new relationship based on mutual respect, despite their deep ideological differences, still has to be put to the test. And it may very well be in just six weeks when foreign ministers of the Organization of American States will be asked to reinstate Cuba. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Port of Spain.